Hi, everybody. You're watching Audio Tree Live. Welcome back. My name is Rita Lucia. Today's date is Saturday, March 25th, 2023. Today, we have a really amazing show for you. Today in the studio, we have Soft Cult. You guys, please show them some love on social media. The session that you're hearing today is available on your favorite streaming platform. So follow us there and please subscribe to us here on YouTube as well. I don't want you to miss a session. We really want you guys to be able to keep up with all of the new and exciting talent we discover just for you, just like this amazing band, Soft Cult, who's about to blow your mind. Uh, whenever you're ready, take it away, guys.
You are watching Audio Tree Live with Self Co. That was so good, guys. Thank you. Yeah, dude, that felt good. We're so stoked to be here, dude. We love this place. <laughs> well, we love you guys. You have some fans here for sure. Um, so that last one was called House of Mirrors. Yeah. And first of all, before I get into the questions, I have to congratulate you. Yesterday was the last day of your tour. Yeah, it was crazy. It's like a celebratory vibe in the studio today. Also, it's Brent's birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Happy Brent. Birthday. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, okay, so now we have to get serious, unfortunately. Um, you guys actually have like a really cool like social, political, cultural message with your music. And... I, I want to kind of give you a chance to talk about it yourself. Your next one is called Boys Will Be Boys. It's a banger. It's like my favorite song of yours. Oh, um, hell yeah. Yeah, dude. I like champion your message so much. And I wanted to give you the chance to introduce it if you wanted to. Or you can let the music speak for itself. But you have the option. Well, this one does have a backstory. So okay. it's a good one to like maybe talk about a little bit. But we actually wrote it about a woman named Sarah Everard. She's from the UK, so I don't know if her story made it, you know, to the US, but basically she was walking home alone at night around 8 p.m. A police officer stopped her and arrested her, and he took her into his car. He assaulted her, strangled her, and then disposed of her body. Mm -hmm. And when her story came out, there was like this uproar on the internet. It sparked this insane debate about just people abusing their power, but also, you know, there was like this flood of people coming out of the woodwork, like, oh, well, not all men, and you know, boys will be boys, and all this sort of stuff, and it was just disgusting to kind of witness. Um, so we wrote the song about her and about every woman like her who has had to endure violence at the hands of uh, men. And, and then also about the excuses, like victim blaming, mm -hmm. you know, basically blaming like, oh, well, why was she walking alone at night? What part of town was she in? What was she wearing? And, and you know, basically blaming women when this stuff happens to them for the violence that's inflicted on them. So, yeah, it goes out to Sarah Everard and everyone who's ever had to endure violence and... This is an anti-victim blaming song, for sure. Hell yeah. Well, your rage is sacred and cosmic, and it's a gift to all of us, so let's hear it. I, I can't wait. Let's Thank do you. it. Yeah. Let's go.
You're watching Audio Tree Live, Salt, Soft Cult. Boys will be boys. Go so hard. Thank you. Yeah, wow. dude. Um, I know, I actually know the boys in the band are, are changing over their instruments. Um, I just think about being a male instrumentali instrumentalist while performing that song and kind of um, subverting masculinity in a way. And how do you guys feel performing that song? I think, um, I think more than anything, it's just about solidarity, you mm -hmm. know? Um, I think kind of like Mercedes was explaining, it's like when, when men do things to abuse their power and hurt people, like, it's not, I don't take that as a personal attack when we call that out, you know? Right. If anything, like, I want to stand on the side of the people trying to, trying to make the world a better place and yeah. hold people accountable who deserve to be held accountable. You know? Totally, and there's a lot of people watching who will see this session and see like both men and women just ripping this song. We're, we stand in solidarity together, and that's really cool. It's, I don't know, it's a sick message. I've, I vibe with it. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's dude. a good point, though, true, because like there is sort of that debate in feminism, too, where it's like, you know, people think it comes off as man-hating, but it's really not. It's hating, no, it, like, you know, misogyny, sexism, yeah. gender violence. And I don't equate those things with being male. Those are just problems that we all have to solve together. Yeah, that's just, that's just goodness and fighting evil, and we can all do it together. Exactly. It's heroic. Exactly. Pro-human. It's pro-human. Exactly. Um, okay, so I want to I wanna pivot a little bit. You guys have a really cool ethos, like it's very DIY. You, you do a lot of things in-house. And I was hoping you, it was okay if I talked a little bit about the creative process of the two twins here. Uh, you, you guys kind of like share two halves of the brain, like visual production and, or switch, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys mind telling me and the fans like what that's like and how the process goes? Honestly, it's a dream come true. I mean, it kind of started out of necessity because this band, like we released our first music in 2021. So we were working from our home studio in 2020 and Phoenix just stepped into the role of producer and engineer. And we still just record everything from home. We kind of just got used to it. And I think what we like about it is, I don't know, the autonomy, like the creative control of everything right. it comes out how we hear it in our heads we don't have to try and explain it to someone else and we it's an empowering experience too because we're like learning the skills that we need to do to get it done like I didn't know how to edit videos or film or anything like that until we just had to do it ourselves we didn't have a choice and um now it's like a newfound passion of mine that I love that we found through the band so yeah it's funny because it's like we kind of did it mostly just because that was like the easiest fastest way to do stuff but now it's like I don't know if I'd want someone else to record our yeah, music I'll, like I'll I kind of just want to do it now <laughs> and it's like not perfect like I can definitely hear where I do like bad edits and stuff but in a way I like it <laughs> like I like when it sounds kind of bad <laughs> well yeah it's not some like some dude in a studio fucking up your music it's you <laughs> I'm doing it yeah exactly <laughs> I'm fucking it up <laughs> Well, uh, you're not. You're you're killing it. And actually, Phoenix, you sh watching you shred on drums and singing perfectly at the same uh, time is so fucking cool. It's so impressive. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, um, you guys, you guys are awesome. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Uh, you have a couple. You have three more. Mm -hmm. Someone to me. Then we're gonna go into Drain and Uzumaki. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I think you are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think you got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna let you guys take it away for the. The last three songs. Great. Rock yeah, um, the next two that we're going to play are off our new EP. And this next one in particular is uh, meaningful to me. It's um, about incel culture and just how <laughs> gross and disgusting and mm. twisted it is. So kind of came about from like a personal experience of having like a stalker Oof. in our lives for like three years and... Um, just kind of everything we wanted to say to, to him and, and just to people out there who kind of adopt that incel ideology. So here we go. Let's take it away.
You should have killed me when you had the chance. Smother me, stomp me out, stuff the sheets into my mouth, and hope I drown before I scream about everything you did, but I won't stop. Because my survival is not enough. You lit a fire in my lungs. You made my mouth a loaded gun, and I refuse to hold my tongue.
Let's Whoa. go. Well, well, that wraps up our audio tree live session with Soft Cult. Thanks again for coming out, you guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, dude. That was really, really powerful. I'm glad, yeah. Straight <laughs> up, this is, like, such a bucket list just to be here. Uh -huh. Like, yeah. Thanks well, so much for having us it's here. It's an honor to have you. Stop. <laughs> um, before I, I leave you guys, we'll leave you with a, a couple things. First of all, rest in power, Sarah Everard. And on a lighter note, I want to give a big thank you to everyone who makes this happen behind the scenes, the sound engineers, the lighting and camera crew, the talented folks who make this all happen. Thank you so much. And to you guys, the viewers, thank you so much for listening. If you like what you hear, this session is available right now on your favorite streaming platform. So please go follow us on the Audio Tree Artist profile. Please like and subscribe on our YouTube right here. Uh, follow Soft Cult on their social media. I think they're gonna, they're gonna be on to do great things. So you might wanna get the train, hit the train. Um, Thanks for tuning in, guys. We, lo we love you. And from Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?